Really? You really think that I would kiss a snake? Why would you think that? Hey everybody, hey, it's me. I don't look like Travis, I know. I don't, I have a different sort of facial hair. My background is different. I don't have an alien skull sitting back over here, but I do have a TV over here. Anyway, I'm here on Monday, because Travis and I flip flop because he's got a pretty busy beginning of the week. Sorry this is up so late on Monday, I actually almost completely forgot, because I'm not used to it. Anyway, to get right into the topic, this week we're talking about individually what the three of us do as our workout routine. Jordan, did you go running today? That's a question I get a lot from people because I am training for a half marathon, if you haven't uh, known that already. Since the first of the year, I've been running like mega mad. Um, as I showed in my last video last week, which was only a few days ago, um, I have a calendar where I have all these distances that I have to run on given days. I have to run five times a week, anywhere from 2 to 12 miles. So uh, that's kind of rough. Usually, uh, my given week is I will run a longer distance on Sunday, have Monday off, run Tuesday, Wednesday, have Thursday off, then run Friday, Saturday. It's really quite simple, um, but sometimes it is hard to find time to do that. Um, but I've been doing pretty well. The half marathon is this coming Sunday, so it is six days away. Um, frankly, I'm getting ready to be done with it um, because it's taking up a lot of time. Um, I mean, it's granted it's good time because I'm working out, um, but that still doesn't mean it's not a lot of time. Also, on top of that, I've started a personal trainer program at the LA Fitness um, where I try to go twice a week. Um, I try to space it out like I go Monday, then I go Friday, and then I go Wednesday the next week, and then I go Monday again. So I try to space it out. I only technically have a plan that I can go four times a month, um, but they gave me a bunch of free ones as incentives, which they probably give to everybody. Because otherwise, if I go and run, I'm usually not going to go lift weights then afterwards, mostly because I'm there running for an hour and a half, and then I don't want to do anything else. So you may ask Jordan, once your half marathon is over, what are you going to do? That's a very good question, person who looks exactly like me. I am going to continue running, not at a five-day-a-week clip, um, but I would like to run at least three times a week, three or four times a week. Um, distances ranging between two to five miles or something like that. Um, I'm not looking to run a half marathon or a full marathon after this because, um, frankly, I just want to get this done and then really focus on losing all my weight and all this kind of stuff because right now I feel like I have to focus on getting these distances done and therefore can't uh, dedicate my full time to try, you know doing everything I possibly can, mostly because I'm really busy and I feel that that would be slightly a large burden to carry on myself. Um, so once I'm done running the half marathon, I'm going to be focusing more on everything instead of just the running. So anyway, uh, in a nutshell, what I've been doing is running a buttload. Now if you don't know what a buttload is, uh, you should ask your mother or your grandmother or UrbanDictionary.com. Well, you know, whatever. So alright, um, if you have any questions for me specifically about running, about training for a long distance race, uh, and that kind of thing, feel free to leave a comment below or send us an email at fitnessmancers at gmail.com. Uh, I will do my best to get back to you if you have any questions. Um, I can tell you what I did a little bit more specifically um, and that kind of thing because uh, it's been quite the experience, um, but it's been fun and I've learned a lot of discipline in the process and um, a lot of endurance because it's tough running 12, 13 miles at one time especially when you haven't lost all the weight yet that you thought you were going to lose by this point. So you're still lugging around another 15, 20 pounds than you thought you were going to. But anyway, that's all I have for you on this Monday, April 27th. Kind of sounded like Philip DeFranco there, if anybody knows who that is. Sexy Phil. Hope you guys have a great week. Look forward to Sean on Wednesday, where I'm sure he will have a lot more information than I will because he seems to work out quite a bit and kind of works at a gym. And then also keep an eye out for Travis on Friday, uh, but then the following week we'll be switching back again. So thanks for watching on Monday, and we will catch you all.